Well, what are we fixing today? Today I got this cool solar light. It worked for half a season last year. And then the bulb started going out slowly, one at a time. Let's see. Right now we're down to one. Made it through the winter. So one works, and none of the other ones. Now I did take this apart a little bit so I knew what was wrong, so I could buy stuff. So uh, let's show you what I found. And we're going to get on with not only fixing this, but improving it. Here we're going to go onto the desk. Now I did find out in reviews of this thing after people had them up for a few months, that they're pretty much all broken. So there's a lot of people out there like this. I bought these uh, flash, I, well, see, I bought I bought two kinds. I wasn't really decided. One's fast, one's slow. The ones that are originally on there are the slow ones. And the more I thought of it, I think I wanted the fast ones. So, we're going to put the fast ones in. Uh, you don't have to take this apart at all. You don't have to take that apart. I'm going to take it apart just to show you what's in there. So you don't have to go looking. But you don't really need to take it apart. It is just wires. And a dual seat circuit jewel thief circuit so just take a quick look this is just all the wires all the wires are hooked together it's hard to hear it comes out of this little jewel thief circuit which is basically an inductor and a chip and a capacitor and it basically takes this one and a half volts battery this is just a probably NICAD Maybe lithium ion, I don't know. Some kind of a one and a half volt cell that's rechargeable. And when the sun hits that, hits, hits the uh, solar panel there, it charges the battery. And when the battery isn't charging, the lights are connected. Very simple. And you can look up Jewel Thief circuit in... Uh, I'll give you a link down below. But basically, it's a fancy way to take something like one and a half volts and drive a three volt LED out of it. So that's all that's in there. That's all functioning fine. There's no problems there. Uh, I'll put that back together later. The problem is in the balls. Now, I'm going to look at the longest ball. Cause that's the one that's working. I'm still going to change it, but I need here. Let's turn, let's make sure it's turned on. So here's the longest one. Here's the one that's working. And you can uh, kind of maybe see what's happening. It's a cut, just a plain old color change LED, right? Now it's in the green. Now it's going to blue. Close to red, so it's a it's a real cool effect with all these balls hanging and the light diffused like that. But the problem is the way they built these things. Uh, what you can see, I think my light might be a little bright. Better. I love my magic cube. So inside of here. There is a little thing, a little plastic dealy. It's very brittle. It's gonna all be replaced with some goop anyway. So now I gotta get this thing out of there without wrecking it. I'm gonna break away some of the glue that's in there. I think what happened with this and what happens with all of these is they used silicone RTV. 
Silicon RTV will tend to uh, corrode wires that are open. So, oh, somebody's at the front door. One way or another, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. There we go. There we go. So I got the ball separated from the LED. And basically, if you look in here, there's just an LED hanging with some kind of a pseudo strain relief thing. And here is Shrinky Dink and nothing protecting the leads. So the light, no, let's turn this back on. And I broke it on the way out. <laughs> That's all right. You just have to turn it off for now. Uh, what happens is the leads break right there at the LED. Because they rust off. Because they're metal. So what I need to do is basically keep this from falling on the floor. That's one. But I need to take a take a wire trimmers. That's broken. And I have to figure out how to strip this off. Well, okay. I guess it comes off right there. And I have to find the two wires. There are two wires. There are three lights. Ah. It's like a little piece of shielded something. Why would they do that? Why, oh, why? This could definitely use a uh, magnifier. Strip off a little more. Ah. There's two wires in here. We got one that looks like it's reddish tinted and one that looks like it's blackish tinted. So I put some solder on these things. Maybe I can. Two heads or tails then. Otherwise, I'm not against changing these wires out. Because, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to be TIA. Way bigger than I need for the job. Meeting it up way more than I think is maybe necessary so that I can try to eat through whatever coating is there. All right. So I do have a voltage here. Which means now I got something I can, I can solder to, probably. That's the open circuit voltage. 8.6. Well... So, I'll just turn this thing up. Let's turn on the lights a little bit. And you can kind of see better what that's doing. And I think what I'm going to do, every other one, fast, slow, fast, slow. 
I think that'll be cool. So, we got that one done. Now I just kind of insulate it. And what I'm going to use, silicone RTV tends to um, corrode it. I got some stuff called goop. Goop is basically, oh, goop is uh, basically E6000. That's kind of the same thing. I'm going to use this. And we'll see how long this lasts. Now, I'm guessing my solder joint's good. And I'm going to keep just keep it on so I can tell my solder joint stays good. I'm just going to spread it apart just like that. And I'm going to goop it. So it'll look like that with a bunch of glue all over the place. Maybe even a little more glue on the top. Yeah, I'm going to end up just putting, I'm going to do all the soldering. And then do all the gluing because this is a mess. Get in there. There. Hopefully that's sealed up now a little better. And let's come back and see where we are. Well, that's fixed. I'm going to poke it up here somewhere and uh, show you what it looks like when it's at night. Right now, as a matter of fact, when I'm talking, the glue is dry. But, you know, it's raining outside. We'll figure that out. Anyway, it seems to work. I'll let you know if that glue ends up eating up the uh, contacts like the RTV or the hot glue or whatever was in there did. Or maybe they, they just didn't cover it right up by the LEDs. If you look really close, it's, if you can focus from there, I want to focus me right at the LED is where, is where it rusted and the LEDs opened up. You can see this is the LED. I think I figured that out. I think I got that fixed. Let's see how it works for long term. If this helps you out, how about a like or two? Likes are great. Subscribe, please subscribe. I need subscribers trying to get to that one zero zero zero. You know, if I help you out, that's that's really all I'm asking for. If you want to help me out some other ways, there's some links below, but. Give me a subscribe. That's all I need. Till next time. 
let somebody else light up your life. Bye.